Justin Fields taking over in the second half of the Bears win over Cincinnati. The rookie didn't look all that great, guys, going 6 of 13, 60 yards, and a pick through the air, adding 31 yards on the ground. Now, after the game, listen to this. Fields said, I don't think I'm pleased with how I played at all. I think there's a lot more in me that I have to show. That's going to come with time. Uh, that time could come as soon as week three. So, Reed, how much should people consider him in DFS against the Browns? Yeah, I think in cash games, guys, I think he's viable. Absolutely. He's $5,200, the, the rushing upside, even if you think he's not going to play well and he's going to put up another stinker. Like, it's just, it's just too juicy to, to pass up on, especially if you're playing cash. But if you're playing tournaments, I think there is a case where you can fade a guy like Justin Fields against the Browns. I, I do think that at $5,200, he's going to be chalk. And if you want to spend, you know, if you want to eat that chalk and, and you know, I, I try and uh, get the rushing upside that you get from Justin Fields, I think there's other places that you can go out that you can pay up next week. You want to take, sort of take a wait and see approach because I do think that he is going to be popular, especially when all of us, and I'm, I'm sure including on this panel, all of us wanted Justin Fields and thought Justin Fields should start week one with the way yep. he played during the preseason. So I would stay away from GPPs, but I think in cash, he's definitely viable. Yeah, you definitely were one of those people on this panel, Reed. I remember you tweeting about it last week. You were pretty, you were pretty <laughs> fired up about it, dude. Jeff, how popular do you think he's going to be in uh, week three? Uh, it's tough to say. I mean, I, you know, the the top quarterbacks are absolutely slamming right now. So, you know, how cheap, like, like I don't think Justin Fields is setting up as a must play or anything, but at the same time, you look at the cheap quarterbacks, what other options are there down there? I mean, you know, the Jameis Winston thing is done already. Uh, Matt Ryan against the Giants sounds terrible. Jared Goff is Jared Goff. So, yeah, Fields is going to be like the only viable cheap opportunity. So I kind of get what Reed is saying. Like, if he's going to be really popular for GPPs, that may set up as a fade. But I like the matchup here. 